What is going on guys? Boy Trends back in a video. Today is Friday, April the 12th, 2024. And today we are here at Swayze Field checking out some college baseball. And today, well, Ole Miss has her in-state rivals in town this weekend. Mississippi State. So right now, uh, Ole Miss is taking some batting practice. It's still like two hours until the game starts. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And peeps, let's get started. Here comes Chris Lawless. Ready first place, second base, number eight, Larry Armani. Armani is second base. That is second to shortstop, number three, David Pershaw. Pershaw is shortstop. Betty third, right field, number 42, Dakota Jordan. Jordan in right field. Betty fourth, first base, number 44, Hunter Hines. Hines in first base. Betty fifth, center field, number seven, Hunter Isaac. Isaac in center field. Betty sixth, left field, number 38, Bryce Chance. Chance, left fielder. Betty seven, is in the hitter, number five, Aaron Downs. Downs is in the hitter. Betty in Mississippi State, the third base, number 40, Logan Kohler. Kohler in third base. Betty nine, the Bulldog catcher, number 18, Johnny Long. Long, the catcher. Pitcher tonight, Mississippi State, number 14, Cal Steven. Steven on the mound, Mississippi State, in tonight's game. The starting lineups. We need all. Blue Gill, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Episcopal High School. Batting second. Andrew Fisher, Vance Martin, Jersey, Wall Town, High School. Batting third. Ethan Leger, Abbeville, Louisiana, Vermillion Catholic High School. Batting fourth. Ethan Groff, Orlando, Florida, Trinity Park High School. Batting fifth. Jackson Ross, Lakeland, Florida, George Jenkins High School. Batting sixth. Will Furness, Nantucket, Texas, Nantucket, High School. Batting seventh. Trent Miles, Memphis, Tennessee, Christian Rose High School. Batting eight. Judd Unimart, Charlotte, North Carolina, Charlotte Christian High School. Batting nine. Greg Randall, Buffalo High School, Buffalo Bay. All of those men. Brad Maddox, Pearl, Mississippi, Jackson Park High School. This has been the C spot. Starting lines. <laughs>
is coming up the bat here in the bottom of the first inning. This is kind of interesting. Never have seen this before at a baseball game. But this is a hot dog toss. We're throwing hot dogs into the stands. But right now, we're about to start the bottom of the fourth. Ole Miss, I think, only has like one hit all night. Peace, we ain't doing too much at all. Well, Pete, our starting pitcher, Maddox, is kind of starting to struggle now. He's been giving up a couple hits, and actually just gave up a two-run home run to Dakota Jordan, uh, which is actually State's best player. Uh, pretty good chance he'll be a first-round pick here in the summer. And Ole Miss has made a pitching change. Now we got the two-sport athlete, Mr. Austin Simmons, on the mound. And I'm sure most of Ole Miss fans know who he is or know his story. But this kid here is a two-sport athlete here at Ole Miss. He's a quarterback on the football team, but also a pitcher on the baseball team as well, too. And the kid was he's supposed to be in high school still, supposed to be graduating high school in 2025. Anyway, graduated high school a couple years early, uh, enrolled at Ole Miss, and just a super talented kid, super smart kid. Uh, very, very excited about this kid. Uh, playing baseball and football here at Ole Miss. And the Ole Miss pitching continues to struggle. Also, Simmons only threw like seven pitches, might have been nine pitches. Anyway, give up a couple hits, being because like I've seen enough. Now we do have the captain, Mr. Mitch Morrell, in the ballgame. We are now heading to the bottom of the ninth. And let me just say this game has not been good for Ole Miss at all. It's been some pretty bad pitching. Um, offense has struggled all night as well, too. Ole Miss only has, I think, two hits or maybe three hits all night. Offensively, not doing much. Pitching, struggling, not doing much. And you're kind of starting to see it now. This place was packed earlier, and now there are starting to be a bunch of empty seats here in the stands but for Ole Miss to come back and win this game well we need two grand slams and also need another solo home run as well too the chance of that happening it's below 0.1 percent chance of happening but anyway let's see what happens here in the bottom 
of the ninth. Peeps, yeah, that game was bad. Uh, the pitching was bad. Only got a couple hits all night. Ole Miss just couldn't do much at all. And yeah, final score was Ole Miss got beat eight to nothing. Peeps, that is going to be it for today's video. If you can, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Would be greatly appreciated. See you guys in this video. Have a good one. And hotty toddy.